Hi, good evening. Um, so I, I'm going to to talk about the Zohrot organization <coughs> and to show you some something uh, from our work. Um, uh, Zohrot is a, the word means remembering. In fact, it's a feminine form of the verb. In masculine, we say Zohrim in Hebrew. Uh, usually in Hebrew, when we speak, we speak in masculine forms. It's a rather male chauvinist language. And we, if I would speak to you now in Hebrew, I would use, usually, this is the way we use masculine forms all the time. We intentionally uh, picked up the feminine form in order to imply that uh, also the memory that we are using is not the standard one, as the language is Zohrot and not Zohrim. Because we remember uh, 1948, the time of 1948, we remember and we memorize and we work on the memory of the Nakba and not uh, um, uh, or to the contrary of the standard memory in Israel um, of the Liberation War, Independence War, uh, victims in Israel, uh, Israeli victims and, uh, um, and so on. Um, so, yeah, we had this idea that Zohrot implies uh, to kind of feminine uh, form of memory, if I would say. Um, now, we started to work some six years ago, or some, some time more, um, groups of uh, people, um, most of us uh, Jewish Israelis. Uh, we had a rather long experience in working in uh, political education, mainly from um, uh, the School for Peace in Neve Shalom, which is a small community, Jewish Arab community, in Neve Shalom, Wach de Salam, not far from Jerusalem. Uh, there is an institute there dealing with the uh, encounters between Jews and Arabs. And uh, there we learn a lot about the conflict. Uh, we conduct you know, hundreds of encounters between Jews and Arabs, and we saw how the conflict uh, is so, you know, so evident and uh, profound between the two communities. And uh, one thing that we noticed that whenever it comes to talk about the Nakba, there is kind of a huge black hole, perhaps, between the two sides. The Jews don't practically don't have any idea about it, almost nothing. Nowadays there is some more idea, but very vague still. <clears throat> and uh, also Palestinians usually uh, know their own stories about the Nakba, but not much more than that, because they study in the Israeli system education, and uh, uh, of course, uh, in Israel, we don't learn about it in schools. And we thought, we, I mean mainly Jewish Israelis, thought that it's about time that we uh, take responsibility on this uh, ignorance and uh, start to teach ourselves and our society in order to, to make some change about this issue. Because we think that knowing uh, the Nakba is the first or essential step uh, before acknowledging the loss of the Palestinians. Um, and this acknowledgement is uh, um, required for any possible reconciliation between the two peoples in the future. When I'm talking about reconciliation, I mean that uh, there may be a peace uh, agreement one day, perhaps, I hope so, um, even perhaps two states, solution, I don't know. I'm not sure it's possible, but even if there will be some kind of a peace agreement, a reconciliation between two people will not and will never happen. Uh, this is our idea, our belief, unless we Jewish Israelis take responsibility on our part in this uh, tragedy of the Palestinians. When I'm talking about our part, I don't suggest that it's only our responsibility. There are, there are other, others there, but we have a big part of this responsibility. And uh, when I'm referring to responsibility, I mean that there are a series of things we, ca we have to do. Uh, so one thing, as I said, to study about it, the Nakba, and I will show some of the projects that, project that we are doing, and I think there are some good initial examples to what we as Jewish Israelis have to do or can do. Uh, so studying about the Nakba, uh, remapping uh, the land uh, with you know the places who've been destroyed 
posting signs, um, uh, building perhaps museums, commemoration sites for the Nakba, and so on and so forth. And uh, one very important part of this uh, responsibility is to uh, acknowledge the right of return of the Palestinian refugees um, and to work to implement it um, um, in different possible ways uh, to try to uh, engage as many Jews, Jewish Israelis uh, as possible to different, you know, to ideas how to really implement uh, uh, the return of refugees. And we believe that all this is necessary, as I said, in order to have reconciliation in the future. One last point before I, I show you something. Um, this history is our history too, the Nakba. Of course, it's the Palestinian tragedy, uh, but it's uh, our history too. We were there, of course, and we won, if one may say, the uh, Jewish state. Uh, and we are responsible for that, uh, of course. Uh, so it's our history too, and it's very important to, to as I said, to study it uh, and to speak about it and to write about it in Hebrew. Uh, something that we try very hard is to, uh, to bring this Nakba. Uh, we keep this, the same term, Nakba, but to, to bring it to the Hebrew language. Um, I can tell you that uh, we have a good friend here, Zohot member, Noga Kadman, that she is a member of us, of Zohot, and she's writing, now she's about to publish a book exactly about this, about the marginalization of the destruction of the destroyed villages in the discourse uh, in Israel. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect example uh, um, of um, a possibility to speak about it and to research the Nakba and to bring it into the Hebrew language, which is, uh, there is so little uh, information about it. Um, so I would like to show you some things that we are doing, and I will start with a video, short video of three and a half minutes, which shows uh, perhaps the main, yeah, main uh, 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 activity that we, um, we've done until now, or main ways, way of activity, it's a, it's a tour. We are doing tour, tours to destroyed places, destroyed places from 1948. Uh, I guess uh, you know that there were hundreds of places destroyed or repopulated by Jews. And um, uh, we organize tours to those places and post signs. During these tours, we post signs to indicate the names of the different sites of the uh, place, of the destroyed place. And uh, we publish booklets in Hebrew and Arabic uh, with information about the, the, this uh, town or village, uh, with testimonies that we collect from Palestinian refugees usually, sometimes from Israeli soldiers. It's uh, more or less the beginning of um, this. Um, um, so this, I'm going to show you a three and a half minute uh, visit to uh, El Majdal. It's a town in the south of Israel, where today is Ashkelon, the city of Ashkelon. And part of Ashkelon, is still today, uh, there are many remains of uh, El Majdal. And like in many other places, uh, you see the remains of the Palestinian uh, town, but you don't see any uh, indication for that. 